The name of the book is American Veda, from Emerson and the Beatles to yoga and meditation, how Indian spirituality changed the West. And we are so honored to welcome the author, Philip Goldberg, to the show this morning. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. And you've been here through the weekend, had a great opening night last night for this film. Tell us, uh, how was the showing last night? Apparently, um, it was sold out oh. and there was standing room only. It was a, a big event mm -hmm. and I was honored to be invited to introduce uh, this film and, and do the questions and answers afterward. Did you get some good questions at the end? Yes, yes, very smart, insightful questions. That's great to hear. Glad Tulsa had a good showing for you. <laughs> yes, it did. I was impressed. So you were a part of this documentary. Uh, tell us about your role in the film. I was, my book, American Veda, mm -hmm. covers the, the history of all the uh, people and influences that brought what we think of as yoga and Indian spiritual teachings to America. One of the key figures in the book is Paramahansa Yogananda, the okay. author of Autobiography of a Yogi. And so I was uh, one of the subjects being interviewed because the movie's about his life. Mm -hmm. And so I'm on camera a lot, sort of giving a historical perspective uh, about him and his life. And I'm just one of a number of people on screen. I didn't. Wonderful, talking yeah. about it. Back to your book. Uh, you kind of describe meditation, things that people, we know the words, but maybe we don't really know what they mean. Meditation, yoga in the West. What is the, how did we get introduced to these words and to these practices here? Well, we know a lot more about them now than we did 40 years ago and way more than we did 100 years ago. But my, what my book covers is essentially 200 years of these ideas and teachings that from ancient India that have crept into American culture from the days of Ralph Waldo Emerson mm -hmm. when there was just books through the 20th century when Indian teachers like Yogananda started to come here and then the explosion in the 60s when uh, the Beatles went to India with Maharishi Mahesh Yogi and took up transcendental meditation that was like a watershed moment in a very long history that mm -hmm. propelled our understanding of what these teachings are and the practical uh, benefits that accrue from some of these practices and what followed from that was a lot of scientific research and so forth so now um, you know your doctor might tell you to meditate for for your health or to take up yoga which and so it's it's kind of the, my book is the story of how these ideas and teachings sort of became part of the mainstream America that once seemed foreign and strange mm -hmm. That's great, a great introduction to how it got here, how you can use it. So in this film, do people learn a lot about that as well? Yeah, because the filmmakers, and I'm, I'm not one of the filmmakers, I should point that out, but they did an excellent job of telling Yogananda's life story and at the same time uh, for people who know less about it than others, uh, what the essential message mm -hmm. that he brought was and by uh, extension, all the influences and all the people who brought these teachings to, to the West. So uh, people will get an understanding of what yoga philosophy is and what yoga practices are, as well as, you know, a, a, a wonderful sense of uh, a biographical documentary. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming and talking to Tolson's and Thanks for, having for telling me. us all about your book. Guys, we've got to tell you how you can see this film. It had such a great showing last night. They've extended it another week. It is Awake, the Life of Yogananda. It is now through November 21st, Circle Cinema, 10 South Lewis Avenue, 918-585-3504 for more information, circlecinema.com and americanveda.com for more information about that great book. And we've got a copy of this book for one of our viewers. Philip is going to sign it for you as well. So start dialing our contest line 918-460-5106. And if you're caller number eight, you'll win this copy of American Veda signed just for you. All right, Clint, got to check in with that weather. You're not going to be very popular tomorrow.
No, you know, they have, they've dubbed me Bad News Boone for a reason sometimes when these systems come in. They don't like the weather guy whenever it gets real cold. So, yes, we're going to talk about the extended period of cold weather, maybe even a little snow in that eight-day planet. Stick around.